Hello everyone, so here is another electricity question. The first question says, write down the term used to describe the underlined words. So here we can see the underlined words. So it says, 12 joules of energy is given to each coulomb of charge that passes through the battery per second. So if we remember our grade 10 formula, which goes voltage is equal to energy divided by charge, then that is the definition of voltage. It says that voltage is equal to energy per coulomb of charge. Now, because they're talking about the battery specifically, we will call this the EMF. The next question for six marks, geez like, calculate the current that flows through the three ohm resistor. So I wanna quickly show you guys something. Electricity flows out of the positive, okay? So we've got an internal resistor, then the electricity gets to this point here, and then it can decide if it would like to go this way or this way. So because it had to split up, we can say that the green and the blue are in parallel. Okay, so this entire area here is parallel. But then what happens is that the electricity comes together again and then carries on like this. So the reason I'm showing you this is that this three ohm resistor is going to have all of the current going through it because it's not in parallel. So we just need to calculate the total current in the circuit and that'll be the answer. Now remember we said that the, the underlined part is 12 joules of energy is given to each coulomb of charge and we said that that was the EMF. So that's the trick with this question to realize the EMF is 12 volts. Now we can try using the normal formula, E equals to I, R plus R. Now be careful, we did say that this piece is in parallel with this piece, but that doesn't mean that all three of these are in parallel. What we first need to go and do is realize that these two are in series, and so we need to add them together first. And so if you had to add those two together, they would be 24 ohms. Now that 24 ohms is in parallel with the eight. So we can then say one over R parallel is equal to one over eight plus one over 24. Then you can go type that in on the calculator so long and you get one over six. And then if you flip that upside down, we find out that R parallel is six over one or six ohms. We can then add that to the three over here because that's in series. And so we can find out that R is six plus three, which is nine ohms. And so that would be this R over here. And then the internal resistance, which is this one, is obviously the 0 0.6. And so now we can carry on with our EMF formula. Let's just write it down once more. And so the 12 is equal to I and then nine plus 0 0.6. And then you can just calculate I. I'm just gonna say 12 divided by 9.6. And that's 1.25. And so the total current in the main part of the circuit, which is all of this, is 1.25 amps. The next question says, calculate the reading on the voltmeter. Now remember that when you have a battery, I mean a voltmeter connected outside the battery like this, then this is measuring the external voltage you might, your teacher might call it the terminal voltage. So it's the, it's, the, it's the voltage that is actually going on the outside. So if you've watched any of my other electricity videos, you'd know that I'm always talking about I equals to V over R. And you can use different voltages with different resistors. So for example, if you wanna use the external voltage, then you must use the R external, which is the, all the resistors on the outside. If you wanna use the internal voltage, which is the voltage in the battery, then you must use the internal resistance. And if you wanna use the EMF of the battery, then you must use the internal resistance and the external resistance. And so I think the best one for this question would be to use this one over here because we are trying to calculate the external voltage. And so we know that the EMF is 1.25 we know that the external resistance, remember we calculated that just now and we got nine. And so to calculate your external voltage, you would obviously just multiply. 
And so that would give 11.25 volts. Now that makes sense. The EMF of the battery is 12 volts. And then when you plug it into the circuit, it only gives us 11.25. We are now told that the switch is opened. Okay, so the switch is opened. So what that does is it completely gets rid of this entire part of the circuit. The question says, will the reading on the voltmeter increase, decrease, or remain the same? Ha ha, now this is a good question. Um, and, I, and, I, and I wanna take a bit of time to explain this to you guys, because once you understand this, it becomes quite easy. So we know that when you walk into a shop, you've probably heard me say this so many times, but if you get a 12 volt battery, that's called the EMF. Then when you get home and you plug it into your circuit, the voltage that you will get on the external will be a little bit less, right? So for example, if you connect your battery and it's a 12 volt battery and you connect it and you've got some type of light bulb and then you take a voltmeter and you measure, you will maybe get 11.2 volts. And the reason is, is that inside the battery, you are going to be losing 0 0.8 volts. And so we can say that the EMF is gonna be equal to um, the internal voltage plus the external voltage. Now this, another name for this one is terminal voltage. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you something quite interesting. We are gonna say EMF is equal to, um, for the voltage internal, you would use I times small r, but now leave the V external just like that. Don't change it to I times capital R or anything like that. Now their question said, Will the reading on the voltmeter, which is the external voltage, if you look over here, how will that change? So what I want you to do is then take this formula and get the V external by itself. Okay, so check this out. We know that the EMF is a constant. It cannot change, okay? It will not change in this question. We know that the internal resistance is also a constant, so it cannot change. So the only thing that we actually need to be able to look for is the current in the circuit. So to do that, we need to see what is happening to the overall resistance. So have a look here. We completely took this one away. Now, remember what we've said before. When you take resistors away that were in parallel, it actually makes the total resistance in the circuit go up. Remember, I might have showed you this before. If you have a shop and you have three doors and people are busy walking into your shop using three doors, that makes everything go quite nicely. But then let's say we close two of these doors. Then what has happened? All of a sudden, all of the people have to now go through one door and so it's gonna make the total resistance larger. It's going to make it more difficult. So when you take all of these resistors away, some of you might think, oh, well now the, the total resistance is going to become less because we're taking the resistors away. But that is not true. It's because we're taking the resistors in parallel away. And so that actually makes the total resistance go up. So the total resistance in the circuit is going to increase. So what will that do to the current? Remember, current tells us how fast is everything flowing. So because we are increasing the resistance, what are we gonna do to the current? It means that the total current is going to decrease. Remember, they are inversely proportional. So now we can come over here and we can look at this value over here. So we know that the EMF is a certain number. Now this number over here is becoming less. This number is becoming less. So then you need to maybe pause the video now and think about what will happen to this value. Is it gonna become more or less than what it was before we took away these resistors? Well, well done if you realize that your V external is actually going to increase. Because this part here is gonna become smaller and so you're taking your EMF and you're minusing a smaller value. So that means that this part must be a larger value. And so your V external is actually going to increase. And then the way that we explained it is we'll do something like that over there.